mistakes that can affect your cholesterol your numbers your cholesterol levels tells your doctor about the fats in your blood unhealthy levels are linked to hardening of the arteries which can cause heart disease heart attacks and strokes your number included bad ldl and good hdl cholesterol and triglycerides a common fat in your body if you understand where your numbers are and what may affect them you can do some things to help manage them you don't get tested unhealthy cholesterol numbers don't typically cause any symptoms so it's important to get them checked if you find out there's a problem diet lifestyle changes and medication can help after age 20 your doctor will want to do a simple blood test every four to six years to make sure they are in the healthy range if your levels are off your doctor will keep a close eye on them to see if you need treatment you skip your workout regular exercises is one of the best ways to control your cholesterol you don't have to run a marathon 40 minutes of walking swimming cycling or dancing three or four times a week will do the trick if you are short on time you can break it into 10 minutes increments throughout the day resistance training push-ups pull-ups weights may help too you park yourself sitting too long can be linked to obesity heart disease and high blood pressure it lowers good cholesterol which helps get rid of the bad stuff and raises triglyceride levels this is true even if you exercise regularly if you work at a desk try to get up and move around every 30 minutes or think about using a standing desk you smoke it lowers your good cholesterol levels which means you keep more of the bad stuff and it's linked to high blood pressure diabetes and heart disease quitting can make your cholesterol levels better and help protect your arteries if you don't smoke do your best to stay away from secondhand smoke you ignore your weight carrying too many pounds especially around your belly can raise bad cholesterol ldl and lower the good kind hdl but lose just 10 percent of your weight and you could really help your numbers talk to your doctor about the best diet and exercise program to help you lose weight you eat a lot of saturated fat this comes from beef pork lamb and full fat dairy like butter cream milk cheese and yogurt as well as tropical oils like palm and coconut all those things can raise your ldl or bad cholesterol it can help to trim visible fat from meats and go with skim milk and low-fat yogurt. If your LDL is high, you shouldn't get more than 6% of your calories from saturated fat. You eat a lot of trans fat, sometimes called partially hydrogenated fats or oils. You find them in fried foods, pastries, pizza dough, uh, donuts, muffins, cookies, crackers, and many uh, prepackaged foods. They raise your bad cholesterol levels and lower the good stuff. Check food labels to limit trans fats. Eat plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, low fat dairy, poultry, fish, and nuts. You cut out all fats. They are not all bad. Replace saturated and trans fats with healthier polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats you will find those fats in trout salmon herring avocados olives walnuts and liquid vegetable oils like safflower canola sunflower and olive oil but make sure no than 30 percent of your daily calories come from any kind of fat you forget about fiber there are two types of fiber soluble which dissolves in water and insoluble which does both are good for your heart health but soluble fiber in particular help lower your LDL levels add it to your diet with a bowl of oatmeal in the morning or with oat bran fruits beans lentils or vegetables you drink too much overdoing it with alcohol can cause unhealthy cholesterol numbers in particular it can raise the level of fats in your blood men should have no more than two drinks per day and women one if you keep to that you also might boost your hdl or good cholesterol numbers you ignore other conditions it's important to understand and treat any medical issues linked to bad cholesterol numbers like high blood pressure diabetes kidney disease liver disease 
and hypothyroidism. If you have one of those conditions and manage it well, you may help your numbers too. You skip your medication sometimes. Follow your doctor's direction about any prescriptions. If you do forget to take your medication, don't try to make up doses by taking more the next time. It may not work the way it's supposed to or it may make you dizzy or sick. Make sure to tell your doctor about any drugs you already take. Some drugs can cause problems if they are taken at the same time with other meds.